yeah, I'm here. I'm going to review the Sega Saturn. It came out in 1993. It was pretty good. Um, before the Sega Saturn, it was the Sega CD. And after all that, the last system they made was the Sega Dreamcast down there. Got this at flea market for 40 bucks. Pretty good, but on eBay you can go maybe a little less. When they made a couple models of it. One model was the ovals like they were here and they had it said power and then the light and accessory and then the light. They made another one ovals and um, dots with just lights and another dots. It didn't have words. Another was just a circle in the circle. That was it pretty much. I, this is, I don't know what version, I think the first ever. Or, version or something like that they made because they made three got two games I had to buy them separately I got Croc you think Croc's pretty cool yeah and normally the games are pretty good and not that hard but listen this Croc game makes no sense at all it has no story to it and I got one of those airplane games uh, I got Croc for about eight bucks and I thought okay come with the manual everything's alright I just looked at it real fast and I bought that in the shop at the flea market and then I go outside and I remember seeing the guy saying all these and he only has like one two left. And like five bucks, okay, I really have none of the other games for it because I got it. And it's and I'm like, okay, five bucks looks pretty cool on the cover. And then, whoa, what's that? It breaks? Yes, because it's missing the piece that's on this side. And he gave me a different manual for a different game and he gave me this regular manual. The manuals are all in pretty much black and white. Don't believe me there. Let's look in this second different manual. And Crocs in black and white. Even but the covers are in color. <sighs> Let's look at Croc. Gotta wipe off the disc because there's a glitch. If you don't, if it's scratched off, he has no head. On. And I'm gonna be reviewing you know what? Before that, we're reviewing other stuff. Uh, let me show you this Sega CD game I got, too. Same guy was selling it. They're like, oh, okay. Listen, we have a lot of these Sega CDs cases left. So let's make them to the Sega Saturn. Don't believe me? Look at this. Put them both up. And they both have that little rig thing. And there's two squares. The only difference is their name. And I, they could have just took them out like the guy did here. And switch them. That was it. Oh boy. The controller a little different than the Dreamcat. Then sorry. Then the Genesis it has three extra buttons and two levers. The, and the gameplay is not that good on this. I failed trying to get the Sonic R game. I was really trying to get that, but they didn't have it. And I was trying to get something for the Sega CD. Um, Sonic CD because I really like Sonic games, and they didn't have that either. So I gotta find those on eBay. English doesn't really matter with this you can go all the way to like 2000 like you can go all the way to like 2000 um 2199 is the farthest can go and look there's the Saturn this thing was $200 when it first came out with the box and everything like I said I got for 40 bucks at the flea market shop there's me Fox made this? Sort of. And I'm gonna be reviewing C D like I'm doing now the Saturn Dreamcast I already did. I'm gonna review the Nintendo 64, the Yo Boy, and the S fake, and I have the real one. It's down there. Croc Legend of Goblins. One more thing um, for the Sega Saturn. I'm not sure if I did this yet, but this was for the memory, and it had action replay on it. And back here, if you had a battery in it, and the battery died after a couple years, if you had saved data, it would all be gone. And you couldn't have internet play on this yet. Yeah, internet. You had to connect something in the back of it and do some stuff, and it looked pretty weird. Ugh. And look, it's already doing the glitch. No, not quit. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. And I bet you his head's not going to be there.
Probably just his eyes. It's me again. Yep, I was right. As you can see, there's no head on him. I'll turn him around. And you can just see his eyes and nose. A little glitch there. And if you're trying to go straight, yeah, straight works. And you're trying to go left, you can't. You just go in a circle. You gotta go a little left and then straight. Sorry, I reversed that. A little left then straight and a little right then straight. You can only go straight and backwards just to go. So that was confusing. I'm not even really supposed to sh not sure what to do in here. I even tried to read the manual and it really didn't make no sense. I guess you gotta get those goblin things. And you can collect those little jewel things up there that says zero and right there. To save you from dying a little bit. Next game. And if you don't have a memory card for this, you gotta keep on putting the settings in. And they made, when they made the action replay, you can play the Japanese games that didn't come out. It's played regular CDs. I'm not sure if it made if it played copy CDs or not. So let's try it out. There were supposed to be a Sega system called the Sega Neptune. It was supposed to be an alone 32X, but they scrapped that and went to this. Boy, I'm going over the limit so far. Almost out of time. See, look, it's like a little TV thing, like for the Sega CD. I think it was originally supposed to be for the Sega CD, and then ran out of time and just put it to here. Because the graphics aren't that good on this one. Again, trying to do this with one hand, so sorry. And again, I'm not sure what to do in here. It just lets me off, and then I just shoot stuff pretty much. I'm not sure what the trigger's doing here. One of the cool things the yo ball I got, you click it, the light goes on. So yeah, I give you controllers and I have the box still and everything. Shoot. Happens when you pause it. So I just pretty much kill down the houses. And if you get too close to the house or something you're blowing up, while you are shooting it, you'll die too. So this game is pretty good. I'll give Croc one out from zero out of ten. I'll give it um a four or five because maybe it was just the controller and they made a different one with the joystick, and I might get that and that might help it. For this game I'm playing, I'll give it a seven because it's pretty good. So yeah, my final thoughts on it. Ugh. Pretty good game system. If you find one, pick one up, but don't spend over like 40 bucks on it like I did. If you find one on the internet for like 30, I say yes, but over 50 bucks, I say no. So, like I said, memory card and action replay, and you could play Japanese games if you had the action replay. So, yeah, thanks for watching my review and. See you later.